Um, in the early days, we didn't have as many lines. Uh, in fact, I think Tank was one of the first of our characters to speak. Uh, and so the sessions were short. They were, it was just like a, a big burst of screaming Die and we're in and out. And uh, as we progressed along, there were more and more lines written for us, and especially in this most recent incarnation. Nothing we've done uh, compares to what we've just done. I mean, I, I, I've recorded tens of thousands of lines as Takio. Originally, Takio was almost comic relief. I mean, he, he was uh, a very stereotypical character, as they all were. Back in the day, uh, when Tank was nothing but a meathead, Yes, that was really fun to play. It was uh, fun just to get that out of my body sometimes because I needed to. Uh, but the best stories for me are the ones where there's a little more depth, there's a little more exploration. With the Alpha Omega map, uh, the fans got more Richtofen than they probably bargained for. Uh, and as an actor, just being able to explore the two different versions of Richtofen with Ultimus and Primus, uh, it, it was a dream come true. Ultimus is more ultimate. I know, I remember. Okay, here we go. Going from very drunk, loud, angry guy to sober guy, and then becoming a leader uh, was a really interesting thing. And to see that in the other characters, and that Richtofen hands over the responsibility to, to me, to, to Nikolai, realizing that Nikolai has to be the one to, to carry out these tasks. It was probably one of the biggest character arcs I've ever played. The characters are much more than ever before allowed to just be themselves. When we got to sit around as friends and actually reflect on this journey that we have all traveled, um, it was kind of a nice bow on a life well lived. You know, I think Richtofen's journey through this uh, world or worlds, times, uh, ages, whatever you want to call it, this, uh, his whole his whole being. It's been one of the most interesting uh, interesting projects I've ever had the privilege to work on. Looking back on how the story has progressed, as Nikolai would say, all good and bad things must come to an end. And we really did need to have some closure on it. As sad as I am as a fan and, you know, we love doing this work, it's, it's sad to say goodbye to it. The changes that we've all gone through, at least for myself personally and professionally, have been surprisingly profound for a video game. The different personalities that I was able to explore as an actor, uh, the lines, the, the just amazing lines that we've got to say over, over 10 years, uh, it's, just been, it's just been fantastic. So uh, it's been wunderbar, as the doctor would say. Watching these characters grow and change and interact. I mean, yeah, of course you get, you know, a little emotional about, is this the end? Um, I'm, I'm grateful to have been on this journey with my friends and, uh, and in life they are my friends too. It's a family. We are this amazing dysfunctional family and I'm, I'm just grateful to be part of it.